Hi, Kathy and Jeff back again with more Science Matters. Hey, Kathy, how do scientists freshen their breath? Oh, Jeff, I don't know. How do scientists freshen their breath? With experiments. Oh, boy, you're not going to get started with those terrible puns again, are you? All right. We're here to talk to you today about Unit 6, Force, Motion, and Energy. The standard is 4-PS3-1. Use evidence to construct an explanation relating the speed of an object to the energy of that object. The state assessment boundary limits the analysis to kinetic energy. We're also addressing PS3-3, ask questions and predict outcomes about the changes in energy that occur when objects collide. In this activity, students will work in pairs or small groups to build a marble ramp. They'll start by using some of the engineering design process. First, they will ask a question, then imagine, plan, create, and improve their design. But they will have some criteria and constraints that must be addressed for this ramp. And you can find the criteria and constraints in the recording sheet. The criteria is that the ramp measured from the tabletop is at least 25 centimeters in height. Once the marble is put on the ramp, the marble must travel the rest of the way without anyone touching it. The, nar the marble needs to move the index card sail at the bottom of the ramp. The constraints are that the students will have only four pieces of eight and a half by 11 copy paper. In addition, they will have one foot of scotch tape. They can't use any other materials to build their ramp. What students want to do is figure out ways to have the marble move the sail as far from the ramp as they can. Don't tell the students about the variables. Let them discover them for themselves. So when you say variables, you're meaning like the height of the ramp or the length, those would be variables? Right, and the size of the marble that they use could be a variable. Okay, so before students can get their materials, they must think and discuss their marble ramp design. This is the imagined stage of the engineering design process. Then they will write or sketch out the design for their ramp, and that would be the planning stage. Next, they can create the ramp and test it. And if time allows, they can improve it and test again. Great. The actual testing is where we move from engineering to science. Let's look at some essential questions such as, how is motion observed, described, and measured? So how is energy transferred when objects collide? In this case, the marble will be traveling and colliding with the index card of the sail and then causing that to move. So how is energy transferred when objects collide? What's the difference between potential and kinetic energy? And how do we design a device that uses kinetic energy? This question asks students to compare potential and kinetic energy, but remember, our standard focuses on the kinetic energy only. In this case, the potential energy is at the top of the ramp, and the kinetic is the movement of the marble down the ramp. So the enduring understandings, big ideas, include the idea that motion can be measured and described, as well as being affected by forces such as gravity or friction. The speed and energy of objects in motion can be observed and measured. And another enduring understanding, the change in the energy of objects colliding can be observed and measured. And the knowledge that potential energy is the energy an object has because, it's, because of its position or condition, and that kinetic energy is the energy of motion. So students will measure using centimeters to see how far the sail or the index card moves from the bottom of the ramp. You want to be consistent in that measurement. It should be from the bottom of the ramp to the frontmost part of the sail in each case. And they would complete the data chart on that investigation sheet. Lastly, students will answer some questions to, as they write about this investigation. For example, use your data to consider and write about the following prompts. What factors influence the distance the sail traveled? What type of energy were you observing? There's also some thinking about the engineering design process, such as use observations in your data to consider and write about the following prompts. How similar or different was your marble ramp to your original design? What might you do differently next time you make a marble ramp? 
They should also demonstrate an understanding that energy can be transferred from object to object through collisions. Yup, a whole lot of science in action here. And a lot of it has real life applications for students when they're riding on a skateboard, a bicycle, or in cars to understand that momentum and collision impact. And, and you, you know, know science, science matters. matters.